Damn, Jim's back on the nicotine. Back, yeah. These? No, these are mine. <laughs> I think the circumstances allow. Gordon was telling me how you found me. Sounds like top drawer detective work. It was a team effort. Batman led the charge. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to say this, but it looks like you saved my life. I guess that puts me in your debt. You owe me. And I will collect. Jim, would you mind giving us a minute? Batman and I have some unfinished business. I'll go check on Joker's transfer. Make sure they don't take any chances. Quadruple the off, guards. Okay? We can all play nice now that the bad guy's in cuffs. Basically, do the Hannibal Lecter Joker's treatment no with him. Threat. Catwoman's collar. It comes off. She goes free. Fair. Sweet. You don't have to worry. Our stalemate from the roof still stands. I'm pulling out of Gotham effective immediately. Thank God. Then why are we still talking? Tiffany Fox. Riddler's death may have caused ah. a lot of problems, but I won't make her pay for it. I'll leave that to the man who can't stand killing. Mm hmm I know you think I'm the devil, but I want you to understand. I didn't want... I didn't see things going down like this. I let the mission get out from under me. Never really regained a solid footing. I don't want to hear it, Waller. Save it for your bosses in D.C. They don't give a damn how the sausage gets made. As long as they still get their cookout. This is me and you talking about where things went wrong. I just came here to round up the pact. Quick and easy. And if Riddler led you to Sanctus, that would have been a bonus. Listen. Everything I did, I did for the greater good. To protect Gotham, to uphold the law, to make the world a safer place. You're so full of it. You caused all of this. True. I've seen the file. The pact would never have come to Gotham if you hadn't kept Lotus running. Take a look in the goddamn mirror. I'm owning my part in this. But what about you? What about him? You act so high and mighty. At the end of the day, you're just a rich guy with all the toys beating up on lunatics. I deal with criminals who threaten my city. That is you're true. So far up your own ass, you can't see the truth. You're as nuts as any of them. Avesta had you pegged the minute she walked in your office. She started listing off your pals. All those friends of yours who went cuckoo. You didn't even flinch. Because you're one of them. <laughs> Don't fool yourself, Waller. True. You are too. I know exactly what I am. I choose not to live in denial. We're done here. Signal the withdrawal. That's right, you better walk away. I'm not gonna miss her, that's for sure. Same here. So, here we are once again. Got them safe because of you. Thank God. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty good getting my hands dirty. Just like old times, huh? Mm. Truth is, after I got ousted, I didn't know my place anymore. Turned into an old guy in civvies, lurking around crime scenes. We have to work together, Jim. Solve cases. Lock up the scum who terrorize our streets. Get the bad guys. I'd like that. So would I. Hmm. Oh, uh, I gotta take this. Wife probably saw the news. <laughs> See you around, Batman. Don't be a stranger. See you, Jim. Gotta walk again. Mayor's office. 3.30 in the afternoon. Why the hell are we up here? Huh. 
car. Oh, what do you know? How can we never got that before? Tiffany, we need to talk. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. You're hurt. It's nothing. I well, saw again. you take much worse. Yeah. Joker was going to cut Waller ear to ear. I had to create a distraction. It was certainly distracting. My confession. It took you by surprise, didn't it? Completely out of left I field. I couldn't keep it in anymore. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. Hmm. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Yeah, you could have told us in advance. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you. To be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder. I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. Yeah, that is true. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke me. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. Yeah. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. I had to do something to take back control. Revenge is an impulse. One to be checked. I can't condone it. But I do understand it. Hmm. Thank you. Especially in certain timelines when you go after Joe Chill. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? Good question. I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together. If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. Mm -hmm. You need someone to teach you. Plus, this wouldn't be the first time he You're took someone in who killed someone. Think I mean, look at Jason sense. Todd. You'll have to for work example, hard for your redemption. he's part of the Bat family, and he murders a whole ton of people in a certain timeline. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's Better get not. started. <laughs> Holy shit! It can lift her. Okay. And I have no way to get off the roof now. God damn it. Wayne Manor. Quarter to five in quarter to six, sorry. At night. Huh. Well I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least okay. I don't want to be. Not Ooh. anymore. Then Is he going on the vacation? The first time I found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. You're going on vacation, okay. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You can't leave me, Alfred. I, I know things have been hard, but they'll get Bruce. better. Please, don't try and stop me. My decision is already made. Your protestations, well, they won't make things any easier. Protestations? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. Plus it's, it's got more complicated. At least not for me. Come on, Alfred. You know I can't do what I do. What we do without your help 
Well, yeah. maybe you don't have to do it at all. Her mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore. At least not to me. Yeah. Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. Yeah, like, what do you mean by grey? John Doe exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. Oh. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. If I recall, you were on board with that plan. Bainer just dropped a wall on your head. It clouded my judgment. If I knew then what I know now, I'd never have let you go through with it. Yeah, same here. John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away. Inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. To be fair, What's your point? he could have been worse. Sometimes it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. Okay, that is bullshit. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. I'm not blind to the damage I cause, nor am I to the chaos that swirls in Gotham. But I have to believe the good outweighs the bad. I thought Plus, you even too. without him, there's still gangs in that Anyone running who around. Anyone comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. Mm. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the To be field. fair, she did kill Riddler before we took her underneath our way. Dodging machine guns at a crime scene. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. Hmm. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. Yeah. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. Huh. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. PTSD. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. A what? The tremors. The fainting spells. All of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Please do. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. Right. He rushed headlong into the darkness, okay. making himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just and that got like him killed you. for that. Not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Alfred, these comparisons... You knew the evil my father was capable of. You think you see that in me? I said nothing about evil, Bruce. Then what are you saying? I'm saying you'll end up in the same place. Face down in an alley. Shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood He's kind of right there. Nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Oh. Realizing this, I never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. Yeah. Alfred, I'm... <laughs> I'm nothing without you. You're my father. Yeah. The best father anyone could have hoped for. A good father wants his children to be happy and safe. Seeing how far you are from either, it's why I have to go. Hmm. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. Why, where are you There's going? traffic around the airport. Yeah, because everyone's trying to leave.
You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. Hmm. Continue being Batman. Or stop being him. To keep Alfred. choice here. Sadly, Bruce, this is where the timeline really ends. Honestly, you should give up being Batman in this case. You had a lot of benefits from it. Alfred, wait. Would you stay? If I promised things would be different. Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. He's right, you know. About this. I'll do whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please, tell me you'll stay. Well, maybe just one more night. And unless he paid the flight out of his own pocket, it's not like he's losing anything. I mean, you are a billionaire, Bruce. As I said, this is where your timeline ends. Arkham Asylum. Sometime later. Well, it's good that he kept the photo. Visitor for John Doe. Hey man, what's up? <laughs> Over the season, your relationships have been affected by your actions and decisions within the story. Let's evaluate those choices. Choices are ready. Oh, this is new. Because of your decisions, Gordon has become steadfast. He appreciates you backing him up in front of Waller. He's suspicious that you refuse to talk about Lucius. Because you took his side against Waller, he is steadfast loyal to you. Because of your decisions, John is ecstatic. At the funeral, he was pleased to see you. He was proud of himself that he chose a card you like. He was absolutely ecstatic that you agreed to meet his friends. Because of your decisions, Tiffany is furious. She was thrilled when you told her she could help you with the puzzle box. At the funeral, she was consoled when you expressed, her, expressed your concern for her. But because you told her the truth about endangering Lucius, she now feels betrayed. Your relationship with Waller is strained. She was not happy when you defended Gordon. She was annoyed that you tampered with her witness. Because you went behind her back to talk to Morai, she will work with you but begrudgingly. Because of your decisions, Aman was left traumatized. She was impressed that you served to Waller. She appreciated your honest answers to her questions. She is traumatized by the torture she endured at the hands of the Riddler. Because of your decisions, Alfred is vengeful. He's concerned when you said you wanted revenge. You showed him the video of Lucius being killed filled him with vengeance. He approves of your decision to take the drive by force. What did you tell Gordon about your connection to Lucius? You and 82% of players confessed to Gordon that Lucius was an ally. 9.9% .9 of players told Gordon you could not talk about Lucius. 1.6% of players were silent when Gordon asked about your asked you about Lucius. 6.4% of players lied to Gordon about your connection to Lucius. Did you choose to visit Moray or Eli? You and 74.3% of players chose to visit Moray for information on the Riddler. How did you get the drive from Moray? You and 56.3% of players took the drive from Moray by force. 
Did you save a mom or the agents? You win 71.5% of players sacrifice a mom in order to save the other agents. Because of your decision, Gordon feels worried. He was glad you called him to help you. He is honored to be working alongside you. Because you told him the truth, he is worried that Waller might expose your identity. Because of your decisions, Alfred feels confident. He approves of your decision to be honest with Tiffany. He was proud when you told him he always does the right thing. Your conversation in the parlor gave him a renewed sense of purpose. Because of your decisions, Tiffany feels skeptical. She was surprised when you told her Lucius was working with Batman. She was outraged when you suggested she couldn't take care of yourself. You may have helped her escape, but she doesn't trust your motiv mo uh, motivations. Because of your decisions, Waller feels confident. She was relieved when you said you don't think of her as your enemy. She was disappointed of you calling Gordon instead of her to help you. But because you agreed to work with her while undercover, your relations ship with Waller is positive. Because of your decision, John feels happy. He was overjoyed when you pick his sword to never lie to him again. He was intrigued by the underhandedness way you handled Willie. He is... whatever that is. Ecstatic? Yeah, he's ecstatic you chose to fight alongside Harley. Because of your decisions, Harley feels happy. She was aggravated when you failed to manipulate you in the lab. She was impressed that you managed to uncover information on her father, but because you fought with her instead of Bane, she is thrilled. Did you get Tiffany to hand over the Phalanx key? You and 49% of players didn't convince Tiffany that handing over the Phalanx key to John was a good idea. Okay. Did you tell did you call Gordon or Waller to the arsenal? You and 71% of players reached out to Gordon in their time of need. Did you pay Willie off or let it get resolved with violence? You and 44.2% of players tried to calm Willie down with a drink when he drew a knife on you. 16% of players tried to resolve things peacefully with Willie when he drew the knife on John. 15.8% of players took Willie down when he drew the knife on John. 23.9% of players took Willie down violently when they, when he pulled a knife on them. Did you follow the convoy? Oh, who did you follow in the convoy? You and 42.2% of players attempted to minimize casualties in the convoy raid by following Harley, uh, countering her chaos at every turn. Did you pinky swear to John? You and 95% of players accepted John's offer of pinky swear, becoming friends for life. <laughs> you and 87.6% of players left Tiffany feeling honored. She felt valued when you took the time to let her apologize and explain her actions. She felt honored that you would let her in on your Batman secret. You and 70.4% of players left Harley feeling deceived. She was unconvinced by your defense that you were the mole. She was unimpressed by your stance on dealing with traitors. She felt deceived when you, you confessed to having been the mole all along. You and 70.4% of players did something that made Waller furious. She felt forgiven when you accepted her apology about the convoy. She felt as if the two of you were growing accustomed to each other when you agreed with her plan to use villains for good. She would be furious that you gave up your cover. You and 52.1% of players left Selena feeling horrified. She was grateful that you warned her and helped her evade the GCPD. She felt honored that you let her see your back cave. When you gave yourself up to protect Selena, she felt horrified watching what happened to you. She's worried that you might die. You and 90.2% of players left Gordon feeling remorseful. He was annoyed when 
Catwoman evaded him and the GCPD. He was relieved when you didn't re resist arrest. Because of what you said after Waller fired him, he felt he feels a little remorseful about trying to arrest you. You and 70.4% of players left John feeling guilt-ridden. He took to heart your advice about being generous. He felt sorry for letting down his hero when he couldn't retrieve the laptop. Because you sacrificed yourself to protect your friends, he feels guilt-ridden. Did you warn Catwoman the GCPD was coming after her? You and 61.4% of players warned Catwoman. She avoided GCPD and stole Harley's laptop before John. What dating advice did you give John in the cafe to help him attract Harley's affections? You and 64.5% of players coached John to be himself and he told you about his time in Arkham. Did you tell Tiffany that you're Batman? You and 82.4% of players told Tiffany your secret. Did you out yourself as the mole or put the blame on Catwoman? You went 82.6% of players took the fall and left in one of Mr. Freeze's cryo chambers to die. You and 75.1% of players left Alfred feeling proud. After Alfred was reluctant when you addressed his illness, you made him feel cheerful with the mention of a vacation. Alfred was proud when you advised Tiffany thoughtfully about Batman's code. You and 42.7% of players left Avesta feeling determined. She was relieved that you didn't hold the fact that she told Waller your identity against her. She was impressed by your conviction about Batman's code. She was determined after you after she talked to you about destroying Riddler's blood. Oh boy. You and 75.5 of 71.5% of players left Waller livid. She was Waller was supportive when you owned up to things not going as planned at the Sanctus Labs. You made Waller glad when you agreed that Sanctus Tech would be useful. She became livid after you sided with John on the bridge. You and 53% of players left Tiffany feeling reflective. Tiffany felt solemn after learning about Batman's code. You left Tiffany feeling reflective after you, after your dis discussion about Batman's code. You and 64.3% of players set John down the path of being a vigilante. John was despondent when you said you were trying to help in the subway. He appreciated that you allowed him to leave to find Harley by himself. You have earned John's trust and he has vowed that the two of you will clean Gotham up together. Did you lower the temperature for Mr. Freeze? You and 94.7% of players showed Mr. Freeze compassion by lowering the temperature in the airlock. Did you trust John to find Harley by himself? You and 86.9% of players told John that you trust him to find Harley by himself. Harley Quinn! You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're troubled. Agency asset, Harley Quinn. You and 50%. 0.1% of players dismissed her importance to the agency. Harley was annoyed she could not make you admit you were a part of the pact in front of T Tiffany. She loved that Bane was behind, was left behind at the convoy raid, allowing her to take control of the pact. Harley felt a momentary sadness when you admitted your treachery, but still condemned you to death. Harley was heartbroken when you convinced John to subdue her. While she still works for the agency, Harley worries she's just another one of Waller's pawns. Mander Waller. Thunderbolt! I'm the whole goddamn hurricane! Amanda Waller, director of the agency. You and 40.2% of players remain in a stalemate with her. Waller was furious that you trampled tampered with her witness after Riddler first 
resurfaced in Gotham. She was disappointed of you calling Gordon after your first fight with Bane. Waller was beyond angry when you blew her your cover with the pact. She declared you an enemy of the state for siding with John Doe on the Gotham Bridge. Through your stalemate with Waller, with Waller's stance, she left Gotham as your enemy. Jim Gordon. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. Jim Gordon, partners. You and 59.6% of players accepted Gordon's apology. Gordon was humbled that you would trust him with your secret association with Lucius Fox. When Waller berated you for tampering with her witness, Mori, Gordon supported you. He felt trusted when you called him following Bane's initial attack. Gordon was disgusted that you sided with the criminal Catwoman instead of the law. He was grateful when you forgave him for losing his self-control and letting Waller get to him. Catwoman. I weighed my options and what can I say? I don't like to lose. Catwoman, on the prowl, you and 3% of players told her you loved her and secured her freedom. After her return to Gotham, Selina was relieved when you said you thought redemption was possible. She was touched you went against Gordon to warn her that GCPD was on her trail. She was honored to be invited into the Batcave, you, your secret sanctum. Selene was horrified that hardly sentenced you to death when you blew your cover with the pact. You convinced Waller to free the woman you love. Tiffany Fox. I won't let you down. Tiffany Fox, protege. You and 80.6% of players took Tiffany under your wing. Tiffany felt betrayed when you admitted your involvement in Lucia's death. She was confused when you refused to admit your allegiance with Harley at her father's lab. After she realized you were working with the agency, she regretted calling the GCPD on you. She was at first confused, but then completely blown away when you told her you were Batman. Now Tiffany is repenting for the murder of Riddler under your watchful mentorship. Amana Vesta. You're drawn to them, aren't you? Amana Vesta, COO Wayne Enterprises. You and 54.9% of players asked her to come work for you. Avesta was traumatized by Riddler's game and lost and the loss of her hearing. She was thankful you let it slide when she admitted she revealed your secret identity to Waller. Avesta had, was intrigued that you trusted John Doe to find Harley after she escaped Sanctus. After helping you blackmail Waller, Avesta is hopeful about her new position of Wayne Enterprises. Alfred Pennyworth. Hides in plain sight for that long. I don't forget who he really is. Alpha Pennyworth, family. You and 36.3% of players gave up the mantle of Batman. After he watched the footage of Lucius's violent demise, Alfred was filled with vengeance. When you told Tiffany your secret, Alfred was relieved he no longer had to keep it from her. After collapsing in the Batcave, Alfred felt reassured when you agreed that he needed a vacation. He soon became gravely concerned by Batman's continued influence of the vigilante Joker. When you decided to give up the cow, Alfred became curiously optimistic about your shared future. Joker. They're two threads in the same stitch, bound together, even under strain. John Doe, fallen friend. You and 54% of players told Joker you were still friends. When he found you at Lucius's funeral, John was thrilled when you agreed to meet his friends. He was proud that he bought you into the pact, resulting in a successful raid of an agency convoy. John was shocked you blew your cover with Harley, inviting her wrath. After you trusted him in the funhouse, John devoted himself to helping you clean up Gotham. Joker thinks you're crazy as he is, as he is for considering yourself friends. Did you save Willie or Agent Harrison? You and 70% of players saved Willie. 
5% of players hesitated during Bane's attack. 15.4% of players save Agent Harrison. Did you take Tiffany into the field with you? You and 77.4% of players took Tiffany out of out into the field. Did you agree to hand over Joker to Waller? You and 68.5% of players refused to hand over Joker to Waller. Did you give up the cow so Alfred could stay? You and 36.3% of players told Alfred he would give up being Batman. 5.7% of players refused to hear Alfred's last words. 58% of players chose never to give up being Batman. Which Joker did you defeat? You and 55.1% of player uh, 55 you and 55.1 defeated Vigilante Joker. Photos collected. Okay. So we have finished all five episodes of... Batman, the enemy within, and sadly this is the last one of these Batman videos from Telltale because of course the company shut down, which was a major bummer. So before we leave, let's actually go and take a look at some of the things we've collected here. So we've got, on top of the stuff we got here from the first season, we also got Riddler's Kane. Which I'm pretty sure I've already read. Actually, I want to see if it actually mentions anything, says anything. No, okay. Bane, Santa Prisca crime boss. Bane is a criminal mastermind and a hulking physical threat from the South American island of Santa Prisca. It is there he serves years, served years in prison, making powerful alliances and building a fanatical army of followers. Bane was course to come to Gotham by Riddler and I was lucky to survive my first encounter of him. I was able to defeat and apprehend him during his failed raid on the Bodhi Spar. Mr. Freeze, obsessed scientist. Dr. Victor Freeze is a brilliant scientist whose research focused on extending the human lifespan through cryogenics. Missing following a deadly expo explosion, Mr. Freeze joined Riddler's deadly pact, hoping to use the agent sees virus to revive his dying wife. When he was trapped by the agency in the Sanctus lab, I had to make a hard decision to honor his request and freeze him or let him become an experiment for the agent scientists. Harley Quinn, disgraced psychotherapist. Dr. Harley Quinzel was one of the most respected uh, psychoticians psychiatrists or whatever in Arkham Asylum until she discovered the reason behind her father's tragic death, a genetic disease that brought up about depression and eventually leading him to take his own life. Whatever it was, the onset of his of this illness or just the trauma of knowing that what might be waiting for her, she turned to a criminal turned to a criminal mastermind to help her out. Her connection to Riddler put her directly in my crosshairs, and her relationship with John Doe elevated her to one of the more feared, the most dangerous opponents I've ever faced. Joker, John Doe. Joker was an inmate at, in Arkham Asylum when we met. He helped me escape, then after a while, escaped himself. Technically, he was let out, but okay. The outside world proved loud and uneven to John, and I think that drove him into Harley's arms, which sent him searching for me. He craved a lifeline along the noise. John clutched onto me most innocently at first, but as time passed, he revealed himself to be more and more volatile. In the end, John was overcome by his impulses and fell into the darkness. Now only a shadow remains of the man I once knew. Well, that's it for this Let's Play series. And as I said earlier, we're probably not going to be revisiting this again. 
since there's not going to be a season three or anything. So, yeah. But we are still going to do some more Batman videos in the future. We're probably going to be tackling the Arkham series next. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play series. And, as always, have a good one, my viewers. Before we go, let's look at this Batmobile. Oh, that's the stuff. Indeed it is. Have a good one, my viewers. That's still the stuff. That's still the stuff. Okay, that's new. Hang on, one more. Uh, every single time. <laughs> one more. Like sweet music. <laughs> okay, how long does this go on for? Uh, never gets old. <laughs> nope. Never. Never gets old. Okay, I should stop. Hell no. Lose its luster. Oh, he's actually walking me away. Okay. One last time. Have a good one, my viewers. Hello, my fellow viewers. My name is Ren the Multiviewer, and if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Also, leave a comment or some feedback down below, as every little bit helps the channel. And as always, have a good one, my viewers.